Hi everyone, welcome back to the last 12 days of Christmas, which is day 12. I want to thank everyone, first of all, who have followed my series. I have read all of your comments and I'm so glad that you guys enjoyed um, this series as much as me. I unfortunately didn't have time to do everything that I wanted to do and this last project is gonna be quick. I kind of wanted to like go all out and do something cool but I'm going to save some of that for Valentine's Day because we have all of January and I wanna get do something like similar to the series um, for Valentine's Day. Not the 12 days, <laughs> but something pretty similar. So today I'm going to just show different, these are just different little ways to dress up your gift cards. You know, instead of making them um, just the kind of standard way, I just thought it'd be fun to show some different ideas. And this is a quick little gift card holder I made. I saw a few um online but i kind of just felt this way was more simple and you've got a little wiggle room in there so you could use it for cash too but here's just a little thing to show you that there's in plenty of room in there and i think the best part about creating these is honestly decorating them and i love the belly band it just adds such a little extra touch to it okay so, oh wait, I want to show you. So this is going to be with the scrap of paper. And I'm also going to show a measurement because I've seen a lot of people online liked this style, like with the cardstock because it makes it more stable. But it honestly feels pretty solid to me this way. But I'm going to give the measurements to this if you want to use cardstock, like maybe for single-sided paper. Um, but this can be single-sided too. It'll just be empty inside. They won't see it. But if that bothers you, I will definitely show you the measurement to this. Okay, so grab your scoreboard, and this is a perfect project to use with your six by six paper pads because the paper is going to be a, let me grab it. So your paper is going to be sized at five and a quarter by five and a half. All right, so. Let me figure out which way I'm putting my paper because our lid is going to be here. Okay, so it's maybe upside down, but that's all right. Okay, so at your five and a half inch score, we're going to do one and a quarter and three and three quarters. So one and a quarter and three and three quarters. Okay, and this is gonna be like, our lid is gonna be right here. So just know the shorter side is the lid and this is gonna be the bottom. And I'm pretty sure I, no, I think I did have my paper the right way. So now we're gonna turn it at the five and a quarter inch mark. And it's going to be three fourth of an inch and four and a half inches. So a, like three quarters of an inch and a four and a half. And that is all we're doing. And now we're just cutting and we're literally gonna decorate besides our belly band. So again, okay, so you're gonna have your little, um, here, I don't know if you can see. So see how this is the shorter side and this is the longer. We're going to actually cut this and this out. So, cause we're gonna use the bottom. I've seen people using the middle as the, um, their like side thing but I feel like it's better this way because you don't have to cut into it and it's not going to show because I seen like if you do the middle tabs then you have to trim it and I just thought that was weird so I do the bottom and I will show you how it looks when it's cut so you know and I just totally cut into my nose so it's going to look like that so you can see where I cut it and I like to just kind of corner chomp those off just so it's not in my way. And I'm gonna trim this up just a little bit because I see too much edge here. And that will look not nice when I'm folding it. Okay, and before we start, I'm gonna go ahead and just corner around the top so it looks nice and smooth. And now I'm just going to go ahead and fold these in and we're gonna fold it up. 
And I am using the an, um, the Mintopia paper again, which I bought on Etsy and I didn't see any more. They could have it, I don't know. I haven't looked. So it's just gonna fold like this. And we're gonna glue or tape that down. You could put a little thumb notch in. I've seen people doing that if you'd like, but I feel like you don't really need it with this because there's a lot of wiggle room, but I'll just put it in there just so you can see it. So if you wanna do something like that, you can. And I'm just going to glue mine on. And that is our gift card holder. And now for the belly band. The belly band is really simple. You will just need a one inch by six inch paper. And that's so simple because when you're cutting these out, you'll probably end up having all these scraps. So here's my one by six inch. And for me, the easiest way to do it is I just grab it and just fit it around like this. And I honestly use my um, glue dots. You can glue it, but I feel like it just leaves a little bit more wiggle room when you're sliding it on and off. And I just go like that. Cause you don't want to be, you don't want it to be too tight, you know? Um, so you can slide it on and off. I feel like if you glue it the wrong way, you can at least play with it. So it has this on it. And I'm seeing all the cute ways. I'm just gonna show you a few samples. So this is literally just like a little loop that I did. I thought there might be, if there was questions, it was gonna be with this. I just took like a little quarter inch paper and I might have to trim this. I just want to loop it and I just looped it and I'm making this extra long right now because I'm going to trim it and guess what I forgot to do. I forgot to do my bone to curl it a little bit. And just kind of, I'm just gluing it down so you have that little like hook. Now typically you would put this maybe at the end, but because it's, um, so low it'll look weird if it's hanging like if you have it on this I feel like it's too low so I put it on the top which is not something I normally do but I thought it looked fun that way and this is a little too long so I'm going to just snip it just a little bit and then I just put it on here so I'm going to glue that here and pop it on my cover right here. And then you'll have that little loop to add whatever you wanna add on there, like the little dangles, which is just a fun little touch. Let me see if I have something here. I've got all these. So I just took one of my um, ephemera pieces and just punched a hole in it. and just string it on there. So if you're looking for that fun little look, you can do that. I did two different strings, but you can put it on one just to speed it up. I might even do that. So let's see. Put that there and let me see. I feel like this might look weird on the same string, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Let's see what happens on this side. I'll show it when I tie it. I'm just looping it in here. And let me tie a knot. And I just cut it so you can't really see it. I just wanted these gift card holders to look a little different than the standard ones that I saw, just to make it more fun. I'm just gonna cut that off. And then I kind of just like hid this in there. You can trim it more if you need to. And so I'm just put that on there. And like I said, you can trim this down a little bit more, but it's just so cute. 
So it just like kind of hangs there. Okay, and then, okay, so I already did the envelope. So it's gonna be the same measurement as our first envelope. Okay, it's the same exact one. I just already did the cardstock. Okay, um, except I'm just gonna give you the measurements. So if you want this lid right here, it's gonna be, sorry, one by three and a half inches. And that's just gonna go right here. And you'll want to obviously just point around it so it matches. So you can pretty much do this video in cardstock and just forward it here if you need the measurements. But honestly, it's fine with single-sided paper. It doesn't have to be double-sided. It looks really nice either way. And then the second piece is going to be one and a half by three and a half inches. And that's just gonna be the piece that goes on right here. And then the back piece is just going to be two and a quarter by three and a half inches. Oops, gotta get that to dry on there. So I'm pretty much done for the holiday. I'm ready. I went to the grocery store today and got the last minute things that we needed to get. And I think I'm ready. <laughs> so I wonder how many last minute people are going to be out there for the, for the holiday for Christmas Eve. I figured I'd do something simple because I figure everyone's with their family right now. I don't think anyone really has um, time to, oh, sorry, I put that on crooked, to do big projects probably until after the holidays. So there is that one. And that one's just really easy too. Now um, the belly band again is just going to be another one by six inch. I'm just going to grab the glue dot. on there so it can slide on and off easy and let me find Let's see I got this foam tape here I meant to do a like Christmas gifting craft thing and I didn't get to do that there was a few things I didn't get to do this series I wanted to say a lot of things that I use daily that I think would be really good for, you know, crafting on a daily basis, especially my normal supplies. This would be pretty here. I just kind of cut these out. And this was one of the Laura Ballor dies, and I had put that on. And that was so pretty, but I don't think it's going to fit well. I think this is kind of good, just like this. So here they are, you guys. A very quick, easy little project. I hope you guys like these cute little gift cards. They're so easy. And, you know, it's not just for the holiday. You can use them for birthdays, Valentine's, Mother's Day, whatever. It's, you know, just part of the series. But thank you guys again so much for joining me in the series. I had so much fun. I'm so sad that there's not going to be too much Christmas. I do have Christmas paper, but I definitely want to jump into Valentine's Day, but maybe I'll still use some of the Christmas paper. Um, but thank you guys again, and I can't wait to share more. I'll talk to you guys soon and hope you guys have a wonderful holiday for those who celebrate.